Now, photography is perhaps the most effective form of art, capturing the essence of history in images and time. Photography does not have to be just a hobby. People are making a living from this craft because they have learned to implement the techniques that can transform their artistic abilities to a money-making venture. The first photographic process was called heliography and was invented in 1824 by Nisiphor Nips. Images were obtained with bitumen of Judah spread on a silver plate after an exposure time of several days. In 1832, they put the last torches using a residue of lavender oil distillation by means of a second process producing images in a one-day exposure time. In 1833, Nips died, and another photographer, Dagor, invented in 1838 on his own the Dagor type, the first process including a development stage. Anyone can make money from wedding photography, even amateur photographers, relatives brandishing high-end smartphones or cameras. But there's a difference between you and every other photographer, and this difference is in your unique style and the quality of your work. As a professional photographer interested in turning event photography into a lucrative business, you need to advertise. Arm yourself with your business card. Make well-designed brochures and flyers. Tell everyone about it. Advertise on social media. Get word about your business out there. You have to be totally prepared for the big day. To this end, make sure you get the useful gear. You should be 100% confident because you might not have a second chance to capture a beautiful moment in the event. Don't work for free. It does not matter who the customer is. Put a value on your work. Charge for it. Attend photography workshops and tutorials. Do your research. Find out how much photographs are being sold in local galleries. Find out which gallery is most suitable for your photographs. How much commission will they take? Will they frame the photographs for you? You could also set up your own exhibition. Mm, they work for free. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that line. Okay, I have... Joining me right now, uh, Bami Shabi Richard. Uh, he's the head creative out outright uh, communications. It's nice to have you join me right now. Nice, right here. Photography, photography, photography. Uh, I know I can take my phone, my smartphone, and snap anything that can become iconic, and then I do some graphical this and that. Does that make me a photographer? It, it doesn't. It okay. doesn't. So what's the difference between me and you now um, <laughs> in you, the eyes of photography? The most important thing is for you to learn first. All right. You have the passion mm. and then go away to look for your, to look for your clients. Uh, because if you don't, if, uh, even if you have known all the, all the technique to get your, your work working, but you need, you need, to, you need to market your, your job. Uh, you, you could be very good, but then nobody will call you for, for, yeah. for the job. What, what really makes pictures and photography unique? We, we see people make a lot of money from, uh, from photography these days. Those times, it, 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 about a, a decade, two decades ago, if you are a photographer, it's like, uh, you know, something down there. But the story has totally changed. What, what really happened? Um, I, I, I think people, people, uh, people or, already know that um, your image is very important. Mm. Um, if, you don't, if you don't have a good image, um, people will not probably know you. Mm. And so they need your, your image. And your so image you is your personality, is, is kind your personality of basically. Okay. Mm. So b that, that's the reason why people need those images mm. to pay. Mm. And, so and, the, and the guys behind the image <laughs> have to receive uh, a, of course, a, a, lot of money a lot of well. money from it. Okay, now uh, in, in photography, anyone who wants to go into photography as it is right now, what are the things you need to consider to get into the business side of photography? Um, the first thing you need to go buy your equipment, very important. Okay. Um, of course, you, you should know your, 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 your trade. Mm. Um, once you have your equipment, you have your trade, you also have your name. Mm. Uh, if you don't your have brand. your name, your brand is mm. very important. Those three things is the, is the, is the basic you need What are those know. equipment? When you talk about equipment, what are really the equipment one needs? To Basically, uh, the first thing is your camera. Okay. Your camera could be your, um, your, your phone. I can use my phone to yes, start? Yes, you can. Oh, great. Yes, you great. can. 
Yes, you can. Encouraging me. It's right either there. your phone. <laughs> uh, a lot of people will say, ah, you need a CM, a, a big camera too. You, you don't need that. Okay. You need, even if you need a phone, you can use that to work first. Okay. You can um, start with that. Exactly. Okay. All right, we have to leave you here now. Uh, Bambi Shabi, Richard, thank you very much for coming on the program. Thank you.